Hello world. Today I'm going to show you how to create a countdown timer that will redirect a user of a web page to a file to download. In this example we'll start the clock at 5 seconds and count down to zero and then we'll redirect them to the file to download. For those of you who are watching this video in high definition, here's the complete source code to make it happen. We have JavaScript in the head section and then we have a couple of paragraph and span tags in the body. Let's start with the body first. We start with a paragraph tag that has a sentence, your download will begin in five seconds. And the five in this paragraph is going to be surrounded by a span tag with an ID of display seconds. This is important because we're going to change that five to however many seconds remain. Then we follow it up with a span tag that has an anchor tag nested inside of it. The user can click here and get the file if the countdown timer fails. In the JavaScript in our head, we're going to have a couple of variables. First one, called count, we're going to assign it the number 5, and this is going to be the number of seconds that will be remaining on the clock. Then we have another variable called counter. This acts as a handle for the event of the clock counting down. Then we'll define a function called start, which, as its name implies, will be the first function executed. All we need is one line of code here. We're going to assign a timer interval to our counter handle. Inside the set interval function, we're passing it the function we want to execute. In this case, the function is timer. Timer. and then we're going to pass it the number of milliseconds that we want this function to execute. There are 1000 milliseconds in a second, so for every second we're going to be executing a function called timer. Now let's scroll down a little bit and we'll define the function timer. We'll start by grabbing the element with the ID display seconds, which is that span tag that's nested inside the paragraph tag from the body. And then we just tell it to display whatever value is stored in the variable count. Then after that, then we'll need to decrease the remaining number of seconds by one for the count variable. And then we got to check if the counter has reached zero. If it's reached zero, then we need to stop our timer and start the download. So if count is less than zero, then we've passed zero and we need to get this download started. We'll just stop the counter by clearing the interval. We're passing it the counter handle that we defined earlier. Then we start the download with the window.location.href command. We execute return just to end the function right there. And the last thing we need to do, we need to add an event listener to where when the page loads, it's going to execute that start function. And that's all there is to it. I hope this is helpful. Thank you for watching.